Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you the best profession shuffle to do in the game. Now it's going to be with tailoring and also enchanting. There's not much setup involved for this. Basically, what you want to have is a character with tailoring and you want to make sure that you have these bands unlocked. So the savory cloth bands. Now the reason we're going to be using these is because they're super super cheap to make. All you need is four wilder cloth and four spools of wilder thread. And as you can see that currently only costs six gold and sixteen silver. So you're not going to need any knowledge points for tailoring. I believe you unlock these of the skill the Dragon Isle tailoring skill of 15 that is when you can start making these and that is all you need now you can and I recommend having some tools just to speed up your crafting speed as you can see there's got plus crafting speed on these it will just make it a bit quicker when you're crafting now another item that is really handy for this is to have this right here so the file the file of quick hands and if you read here it says increase the speed of your crafting by 30% so this is going to really help so you want to make sure you use one of them they last 30 minutes and it's going to increase how quickly you can actually craft these savories cloth bands now secondly you're going to want to have a character that has enchanting and there's a little bit of setup for this but not much it should only take you anywhere from like half an hour to 40 minutes to actually set this up very simple but basically you're going to need 50 knowledge points and you want to spend them in the following so you want to go 10 points into insight of the blue so we'll do that right now just to unlock your second sub specialization category so you go all the way up to here and we've got that now this is the main thing you want to have and need to have so draconic disenchantment and you want to max this out all the way to 40 and basically this will just increase the amount of things you get when you disenchant an item so this is a must have and it's very easy to actually get these knowledge points to actually do it you do your first crafts all the way up to about 25 to 30 knowledge points and then the rest you do by treasures now treasures can be found all along the map if you have an add-on called handy notes or if you don't I recommend getting it and getting handy notes dragonflight and you can actually go in here and you can select profession treasures and it will show on the map the profession treasures now for enchanting there are some that will just give you straight knowledge points and others will give you some epic items that you have to disenchant and then then it will give you the knowledge points and that is the easiest way and quickest way to get 50 knowledge points to actually begin doing this shuffle. So what we're going to do now is finish putting that, the points into this right here, Draconic Disenchantment, I'll max it out. Let's go all the way through and max this all the way out. So every single one, it just increases it by a bit more, a bit more. So you wanna make sure this is 40 and you have to get this one to 10 to unlock Draconic Disenchantment. So we've maxed that out and that is all you need for this shuffle it's very very easy now you can have both your tailoring and enchanting on the same character or like i do you can have your tailoring on one character and then your enchanting on a different character because you're going to be mass producing them and mailing them and so when you mail them it is easier just to send it to another character that has the disenchanting ready to go or if you have it on the same character what you're going to do is make the bands you're going to send them to an alt and then simply go to the mail and click on return and it will send them back to the same character and then you can disenchant them there all right so now i'll show you how to actually do the shuffle the most efficient way so obviously you're going to need to buy the wilder cloth you can also create the spools of wilder thread However, I recommend just buying them. They're extremely cheap on the auction house. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll buy. We'll do a thousand, a lot of thousand. So there's four each you need to actually make one of these. So we'll buy 4,000 wider cloth and 4,000 spools of the thread. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So Wildcloth. Oh, Jesus. Wildcloth. And we want to buy 4,000 of this. Let's go ahead and find it. So right here, we want to buy 4,000. And as you can see, it's usually under one gold each. So we're going to buy 4,000 of these, which is only 3,673 gold. Let's go ahead and buy that. And now for the spools. And now with the spools, it doesn't matter what rank you actually get. The main thing is getting the cheapest one. So as you can see right now, the rank two is the cheapest spool. So we're going to buy 4,000 of these, which is 5,520 gold. And now we've got the materials to make 1,000 of the bands. I'll show you how to make the bands the most efficient way. So let's go ahead and grab these. Let's collect all brought. As you can see right here in our reagent bag, we've got all the materials to make 1,000. As you can see, we can make 1,000 and you can simply click craft all. Now before we actually do it, you definitely want to make sure you have the file of quick hands and you want to use it and they last for 30 minutes. So you can have every 30 minutes. I recommend refreshing this. These are extre extremely cheap to get off the auction house. They're under 100 gold. They're currently only 45 gold. So they're very cheap. Now, to make this a lot more AFKable, you want to set up a few things with TSM. Now, TSM is Trade Skill Master, and you can basically set this up to automatically, e uh, automatically mail the braces that you make to your disenchanting alt. So let's go ahead and set that up. So first of all, you want to come over to groups and you want to create a new group. So simply click here. What are you going to name it? Shuffle. Just so it's easy to remember. And what we're going to have to do is simply just create one so we can use the item and put it inside of our TSM groups. So we have one, one right here. Now what we're going to do is go back to TSM in groups go to our group that we just made and we want to add this item to the group and now we're going to set up a mailing operation so you click on operations go to mailing and then you click create new and let's just name this the same thing just so we know it's for, what it's for so shuffle now right here you want to select the character that you're going to want to automatically send the crafted braces to so let's go here go to alt and then select the alt that we wanted to get mailed to and now what you want to do is go down here where it says group management and you want to add it to the group that we just created so then it knows what item to actually send and now that is set up it's very right so to make the automatic mailing actually work you do need to add every single different piece that has different stats on it because some have like crit haste some have haste mastery you need to make sure you add all of the different ones to the group that way it knows what items to send because in tsm they show us different items so what i recommend doing is crafting just like maybe like 30 of these or 50 of these and then going to your groups that you just created for shuffle and you want to make sure you add all the different sorts like this to the group this way it will send all of them when you automatically post so then your operation is set up how we set it up before so shuffle it's going to automatically send it to the character you've picked you want to make sure group management is got the group added to it so shuffle and then double check once more that all those sort of items are here so we've got all the different ones and now when we come to the mailbox we want to go to groups on shuffle you want to hold in shift and then you simply want to click shift and then click on it now what this is going to do is automatically send all of them as you can see just like that so to set this up properly you want to open up TSM then you want to find the ones that you're going to be creating so that is our bands right here and then you want to craft all of these and have all of these crafting so we click on craft door go to TSM so they're all crafting right now. We open up this, we go to groups, hold in shift, click this, and what's gonna happen is every minute it will automatically send them all to your old. 
So we'll just wait a minute now and I'll show you this working in action. It's a very, very cool feature. So this way we can actually craft all 1000 of these and we can AFK completely and they'll automatically get sent to our disenchantment alt by themselves and we're just got to sit back and let it do the work for us. So as you can see to make the 1000 of them it's going to take 32 minutes. So this way we can just AFK for 32 minutes and when we come back they'll all be sent to our disenchantment alt ready to be disenchanted or if you're going to have them your tailoring and your disenchanting on them one character you can send it to a random alt and then you can just simply click return on all of the items all the mails and the items will go straight back to your character where you can disenchant them but as you can see they're getting made right now they'll be getting close to a minute pretty soon as you can see there's a minute and they all just automatically send to your disenchantment alt or your alt now this is how you do it completely AFK to create mass produce these and create a whole heap of them at once all right so now you know how to mass create the braces and have them automatically sent to your disenchantment alt basically i'm going to show you how to actually disenchant them the most effective way so as you can see there's a whole heap of the braces that are in our mail now tsm is a great item to actually a great add-on and a must-have to do this very fast and efficiently as you can see there is a destroy window and now this is made with TSM now what you could do is sit here and simply just click over and over again just like this and it will disenchant the item for you however you probably don't want to be sitting here just spam clicking this item uh, this button right here so I'll show you a bit better way to actually do this now if you have TSM you want to head over to settings you want to go down to macros and right here you want to select this one right here so destroying destroy next button and basically what we're going to be doing right now is making a macro that will when you click it will actually disenchant the item for you so you want to have this selected and then you want to have scroll wheel options up and down selected and then whichever modifier you want to use for my example we'll be using control and this will make an add-on for you oh this will make a macro for you and then you just want to head over to macros and it starts with t so it'll be down the bottom and here it is right here and what you want to do is put that on your action bars all right so now you have the macro set up basically what you want to do is put a command in for the tsm you do tsm space destroy just like this and it will bring up the destroy window and now you want to simply hold in the modifier that you selected for the macro and then you want to scroll up and down and this is going to basically spam click the macro that you made and it's going to automatically disenchant the items for you and this is how you can do it the most efficient way now if there's any people that aren't using TSM which I highly recommend using TSM for both these features to do this shuffle there is actually a normal macro you can actually use and that macro looks exactly like this so you want to have slash cast disenchant and then slash use savories cloth band and when every time you click this it will simply disenchant one of those items for you however i do recommend using the tsm method it's a lot easier and a lot quicker but you could also macro uh keybind this macro to scroll wheel mouse uh, mouse wheel up and down so you can do the same exact same thing with this um, macro if you want to do that and not use TSM and this is how you do the tailoring and disenchanting shuffle it's a great way to make some AFK gold while you're just watching a movie or something you can simply just scroll the mouse wheel up and down or click the macro and just be AFK watching something else it's a great way to make gold. You can make anywhere from about 10 to 30k per hour doing this. It all depends on the prices of these two materials right here. So your chromatic dust and then also your vibrant shards. Because that is what you're going to be selling and making from this shuffle. Anyways guys, if you'd like more gold making advice of shuffles, professions, farming spots, things like that other crafting and profession ways to make gold 
That is all inside of my Dragonflight gold making video, which will be the first link down in the description box, or it will be up on the screen right now. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more gold making and flipping videos. Till next one, take care.